Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Steve Jankowski, and I'm pleased to be presenting at the Wiki Workshop 2023, where I'm going to be talking about the topic of global platform governance, multilingual policy development on Wikipedia. Uh, the project I'm working on, I'm the principal investigator, uh, along with Dr. Claudio Celis Bueno, Dr. Yako Kemper, and Wajdang Seba, where we're working on this project uh, that I called Slow Editing Towards Equity, uh, where we are investigating Wikipedia's uh, policy environment to engage and understand how uh, it is possible to increase uh, the equity of, uh, of policies on Wikipedia. Uh, so the research pro background and research problem is, is kind of obvious where this comes from. So in 2020, the, uh, the, in, in the taxonomy of knowledge uh, gaps, it identified numerous issues that could be improved in order to allow Wikipedia to uh, reach its goal of uh, giving access to uh, humanity's knowledge to everyone. Uh, and while Wikipedia's policies are uh, useful for creating high quality content, uh, they can be major barriers uh, for diverse content inclusion. Um, so partly this has been identified, one of the uh, the issues or the, the elements of Wikipedia's policy environment is that uh, they the policies tend to be conservative. Uh, they were uh, sort of calcified many uh, years ago. Uh, there's a lack of activity now. Uh, and so we want to investigate some of the ways that we can increase um, the capabilities of policies being um, an, an instrument of uh, increasing uh, equity. Of course, there are numerous uh, studies that have been engaged. We look at Wikipedia's environment, looking at its uh, providing feminist critiques of the environment, as well as individual policies. So this is sort of where we're starting from. This research is uh, based in uh, um, theories of media with the media studies, well, feminist science and technology studies, mostly concentrating on um, the aspect that uh, our values, our practices, uh, our beliefs, uh, oftentimes can be encoded into the technical and political structures that we engage with, right? So, you know, unpacking those structures allows us to understand um, how politics is at play in something like Wikipedia. Okay, so that leads us to um, this moment to think about uh, which socio-technical actions could be followed to reform Wikipedia's policy environment. This is our overarching sort of um, uh, research question. It's quite broad, uh, and so we need to uh, dive in a bit deeper to get it specific. Uh, so our research questions are based on two premises. The first one, any attempt to change Wikipedia policy has to be supported by pre-existing practices. It is necessary to know what those practices are. Right? Wikipedia uh, prides itself in the precedent of community practices, and so any attempt to adjust it needs to be based in what's already happening. And the second premise, Wikipedians have already attempted to, um, to make the platform's policies more equitable. What are they? What successes did they have? And which failures did they uh, encounter? Uh, so currently, we are working on uh, the end point of research question one. How do Wikipedians develop successful policy proposals across language editions? And then uh, afterwards, we'll be addressing how are these practices reflected in Wikipedia efforts to increase knowledge equity. So our concentration is really honed in on policy development. How does a particular policy move from the stage of, let's say, a draft or an essay and then move into something like a guideline or, a, or official policy? Um, and ideally, we want to know what are the sort of skills that are required to move um, these works along this along this path. Of course, not all policies follow the path of draft to proposal to essay to guideline to policy. Uh, they go back and forth. Some of them jump from one stage to another, um, and we want to investigate how that happens um, and so that we can understand the process better. Uh, and then give uh, better ideas about how we might perform uh, policy. So the main corpus for research question one comes through looking at, uh, first we looked at five language editions, Arabic, Dutch, English, French, and Spanish. We looked at uh, or assembled a corpus of uh, all the major uh, policies and guidelines for each of those editions using uh, 
some of the, uh, the lists available on each edition uh, to navigate that. Uh, and then we wanted to make a purposeful uh, homogenous sampling criteria for each of these, uh, for three editions, three policies per edition. We originally set out with 10, uh, but that was that was too much. Uh, so we reduced it to three. And so we wanted it to be, uh, these policies to be representative of what we could expect if someone is uh, wanting to know how to reform uh, or produce a new uh, new policy. So it should be, uh, the policies we looked at were ones that were created after 2005. Um, because that was when the process of uh, making policies started to be formalized. Uh, we wanted to see uh, examples where there was a policy that had been drafted beforehand. Um, some cases we were able to find that where it was a sort of a full draft before, the, like in the first uh, edit or first couple of edits. Um, we wanted to be highly visited. Uh, so there's plenty of activity, uh, highly wiki link. So it's um, it's a uh, representative of a uh, sort of community consensus about its value and that it also had development moments uh, that we could analyze. From that, we came up with these uh, three uh, policies per uh, edition, and we wanted to examine them through four different ways. Uh, the first one is just sort of a straightforward um, uh, content analysis of the edit history, looking for uh, templates and changes to the, the status of the policy. Uh, we ended up from all 15 as a total, uh, we found 151 uh, policy status changes, uh, and we used uh, 22 uh, codes to identify what those changes are, usually just using uh, the uh, actual templates that are used uh, in wiki text as, uh, as the codes. Uh, sometimes we had to change a few. Uh, the second pass is a qualitative content analysis of the edit history. Um, so we went through uh, the edits of each of these policies, 2,548 2, edits um, uh, in total, looking for particular kinds of uh, skills and users, uh, user roles. Uh, we did it again through the talk page to look through for discussion, and we are currently working on the uh, looking at the way that composition plays an important role of uh, as a skill uh, on Wikipedia policy development. The yellow there is where we're going to where we're currently working. Okay, so some preliminary results. Um, we have uh, we noticed that most of the status changes happen in the first month of policies. Uh, that some um, policies have complicated development histories, like reliable sources has about fifty moments of change, which is, compares to something like the French uh, edition, which has very few um, changes in terms of status. So that's an interesting thing to consider that we'll be considering and thinking about. And there's a number of different uh, social roles that we have identified, um, like brainstormers, deontic experts, policy environment experts, scope definers, et cetera. In any case, these are preliminary results as we're still in the process of doing the work. We have a couple of steps left uh, of this process, of this research question before we move on to the second one. Uh, and that I think wraps up pretty much everything that I want to say about um, our topic. So thank you for your time and I will gladly take any questions you have uh, about uh, the presentation during the Q&A. Thanks.